Hey guys, Caleb, back at you with another video. And today I'm actually going to be talking about a top five. And I don't really normally do top five or top 10 or worst five or anything like that, but kind of thought about doing one. I've actually wanted to do one for a long time. So I think now is the time to do it. And with the remake, Final Fantasy VII remake, being less than three months away, time to make some FF7 videos or fact, if you will. It's a little fun idea, so this will be fun. And as the title says, it's going to be a top five materia of Final Fantasy VII best. And I've kind of played the game a couple times, so I've got some knowledge on it. I am the guy that you would want making this video, so this is my top five best materia in the game. Of Final Fantasy 7 but these are subject to opinions but I kind of have more knowledge about the game than anyone else so my opinions are actually fact so this is actually objectively the top five materia of Final Fantasy 7 anyway number one will be mime mime is mime it mimics things all right number two <laughs> I'm just kidding uh, mime is multi-dimensional and can be used in a lot of different ways. This is, this is a command materia. There's only one in the game. It can be found in the hidden cave that's actually near Wutai. And you have to have a uh, chocobo to get it. That can walk on water and all that good stuff. Preferably jo gold chocobo. So just get a gold chocobo and you'll get it. Anyway, mime can be used in different ways, like I said. Um, it can, what it does is it mimics the last action that was used in battle, be it the enemy or your allies. And what it cannot do is mimic enemy actions. So for example, if a cactar uses a thousand needles, it cannot mimic that action because that's just not in the game. You know, they didn't really think that through. So they just didn't allow that to happen, which makes sense. But if I say an ally uses a potion or a summon or whatever, it will mimic that action. Now this is also something to keep in mind too, is that if it were to use a resource, Mime would not use that resource. So that's super good. For example, if you were to do Knights of the Round, 250 MP cost, and you were to Mime that Knights of the Round action, doesn't consume any MP. Super good. If you use a potion or a Mega Elixir or something, if you Mime that, also doesn't consume the Mega Elixir really good and even things that you don't even have equipped on you for example like double cut if you were to level up that you know the quad cut or whatever and you were to mimic that quad cut you would do quad cut so it can be used in a lot of different ways and what's also super good is that what we do in the speed run 100% that is <clears throat> If you don't know what 100% speed run, so it's a 19, 20 hour run where I get everything in the game and it's super good and it's the best thing to watch ever. Anyway, uh, what we do for that is actually farm up limit breaks to unlock other limit breaks too. If you have a limit break with a character and then you mime their own limit break, you don't have to have the meter to do it. You can just do it. So that's really good too. Um, it's just crazy versatility and utility. Great materia. Number two. Double cut. Double cut, it just cuts things twice. Number three. <laughs> I swear I won't do that for the rest of the video. Okay, that'll be my last one. I think. Double cut is a, also a command materia that is found in the Gelnica once you have access to the submarine. And what do, it does is it thing hits things twice. Uh, double cut is on this list mainly because it is a really quick and reliable source of damage. Not the greatest early game, but whenever you max out your characters and they're hitting for like for quad nines or whatever, you know, or when you already put like 40, 50 hours into the game, you can level up double cut to quad cut, which requires 100,000 AP, which is quite a bit. That's like beating Emerald Weapon twice. Granted that you don't have to have a double materia growth on there. And it'll hit the character or the enemy for four times quad nine damage that's damn near 40,000 damage 
it's just super good. And the really cool thing about Double Cut is whenever you hit an enemy and then the enemy dies, it'll move on to the next one. So that's, that's just super good. Just use it and you'll be set. Number three, Long Range. Now this is not a material that you would think would be on there. However, when you think about the uses of long range, it'll probably change your mind a little bit. Long range can actually be found right in the Mithril Cave after you, sk after you skip the Zalem. <laughs> I'm thinking of a speed running term, skipping the Zalem. Not everybody does that. Not everybody is a speedrunner. So whenever you use the Chocobo to skip the Zalem, that's when you find it. You just go right and you coin with the vine. There, there it is. Literally one of the best materia in the game. Crazy. Long range is used for melee characters that need to be up front to do their maximum damage output, because that's the way it is. Now for melee characters in the back and they're hitting like with melee attacks, their damage will be halved as opposed to being put up front. The reason long range is super good is because you can have those characters in the back row, so they'll take half the damage as they would if they were up front. This is incredibly useful. I mean, half damage is, is massive. And then you combine that with, like, Tranquilizer or Big Guard or any sort of, like, shield. It's just very, very, very good. Now, characters like Vincent and Yuffie, who kind of have long range passively because they're ranged, they don't really need this materia. In fact, it's kind of useless on them. But for characters like Sid, Cloud, Tifa, ugh, they benefit heavily from it. Because if you have the melee and you have long range on them, like quad cut, for example, that'll do the maximum damage. And you don't even have to worry about it. It just take less damage overall. Super, super good. Number four, enemy skill. This is a fun one. Enemy skill is also a command materia. And what this does is makes you learn enemy skills. That's it. But some enemy skills require manipulate for them to use on you. Otherwise, they won't even cast it at all. Enemy skill, there are up to 24 enemy skills in the entire game. Most of them are pretty terrible. But some of them are, wow, very busted. And... One of those enemy skills is called Big Guard, which got nerfed in the later games. I wonder why. For example, of why enemy skill is on this list is, well, Big Guard itself is just broken as it is. Big Guard for 52 MP, or is it 55? Fuck. Hang on. For 56 MP, and that's all it costs, you have Haste, Barrier, and Aim Barrier. What the hell? And it casts it in, on your entire party. Why was, why was this put in the game? That's so broken. Paired with Tranquilizers, which Tranquilizers, if you don't know, they reduce all damage taken by 30%, but, you know, reduce your limit gauge fill up by half. And back row, you're essentially unstoppable with the M barrier and barrier which also reduce all the damage taken by half it's just insane and haste ridiculous there's also an enemy skill called laser which requires 16 mp that essentially acts as demi 2 and it's just right there whenever you need it not that many enemies are weak to gravity or are susceptible to gravity but it's a very good enemy skill to have. There's also Magic Hammer. Magic Hammer reduces the MP of an enemy by 100. And it only costs 3. And you get that 100 MP back in full. This can actually be used really easily to neuter a boss. For example, Carry Armor. If, if, if you cast Magic Hammer twice on his core, he can't lap his laser. If you drain the MP of Genova Life, she can't cast anything at all. You can drain the MP of Schizo. Uh, Genova Death. There's just numerous bosses that can just be completely neutered. Stopped completely. That are magic based, that is. Can't do anything. It's crazy. Super good. 
It's also to be used to get back MP if you don't have any at the at the time. So you're running low on ethers or something like that. Just a magic hammer. It's that easy. And there are numerous really good enemy skills. Uh, I know I said that, that most of them are useless. That's partly true. I take back what I said, but there are just some that are really good. Um, there's another one that's called Aqualung. Aqualung can be obtained pretty early in the game, right after you get the buggy, after you win the Chocobo Racing for the first time and get to escape Corel Desert. Only costs 34 MP and can be obtained from the harpy that is roaming in the desert. You, can, you may have to cut, you know, fuck, look around for it a couple times to get the encounter, but it is kind of dangerous to go for because it does hit you really hard, but you can obtain Aqualung very, very early and hit things very, very hard, like early game. It could also be used to wait game too, because it attacks everything for water element, and just very good. For only 34 MP, not that much. I'm not going to go over every enemy skill in the game, but just useful ones that are, well, they're more than useful. They're just why enemy skill is on this list of top five best material in the game. And then, number five. Knights of the Round! I'm just kidding. Uh, that's not Knights of the Round at all. Knights of the Round sucks. Not really. It's actually very good. Number five is W item. You probably saw this coming. W item is good on its own because you can use W item just as is. You can use two items at one time in one round. Uh, this is also a command materia, which the best way to obtain this is in Bone Village after you get out of the Midgar revisit and you get to disc three. That's the best way to go there. You go to Bone Village, you dig it up, and it's very easy to obtain. But, W item, using it in itself, just using two items in one turn, is not why it's the best. There's a little exploit that Square kind of didn't test or care much about at all. That's kind of good decent. Any item that can be used in battle can be duplicated up to nine times, such as Mega Elixirs, Hero Drinks, Spider Webs, Dazers, uh, High Potions, you name it. Any item, in the bat in any item that can be used in battle can be duplicated up to 99 times, and through another glitch, you can actually dupe sources up to 99 times, but that's a whole different thing. I'm not gonna go over that. So, W item works like this. You go to use an item, and then you go to use it, right? And then W item queues up, it gives you another option to use another one. However, what you wanna go do is you hit confirm, and then on the target, but then you hit back. And the first item, that you selected will be duped. And you just do this over and over again and you just mash and that item will be duplicated. This is absolutely stupid, way too good, and, well, probably won't be available in the remake. Let's just say that. So anyway, that is my top five best materia in Final Fantasy VII. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, probably will be, no, I'm not going to say probably. I will be putting out more videos like this in the near future. It's very fun to make, and I look forward to making the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. You have yourselves a great day. Roll the outro! Hey guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you like the content, don't forget to follow me on Twitter and my Twitch, and more importantly, don't forget to sub to the YouTube channel. Thank you.